All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. Yes, finally, I got another set of Bowers and Wilkins. Now, these are the PI-8s, and here's my PI-7s. So these are the first version of the PI-7s. And after the PI-7s, they came out with a PI-7. Um, it's called the S2, I believe it is. Now, you can get these right here for under 200 bucks, or right around 250 or less. Uh, but you can also get the PI7 S2s for about 260 bucks on sale a lot of places. So um, these these earbuds, when I got them, man, they cost me $400. And they're very premium. You can kind of see what they look like. And it has a nice metal build around there. It's just, it's a, a good looking set of buds. And they were very expensive. So almost four years ago, it's like three and a half years I've had these and every now and then I'll pull them out the box um, you know I use them because these was 400 bucks when I got them even though a lot of people got them for like 250 300 or less you know I take care of these these were the these are the most expensive earbuds that I've ever owned now here we go again um, I, I decided to grab the PI8s uh, these are supposed to be really good uh, they come in uh, four colors I'll have the link in the description so you can grab yours. They come in a nice blue color, and then they have uh, this black color, and they have a white color, and then they have like this green looking color. So um, I think they, I think these are really, really sweet, man. I mean, you just have to pick the ones that you like. The green color, it's got like more of a gold tone to it, so it's kind of like a, I would say an upgrade or replacement for kind of these, but then they have these ones called Dove White. Um, that's They have Jade Green and Dove White. So I guess the dove white ones would actually be the one to re kind of replace these because it's got like gold and white on them. Uh, but got black this time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and crack it open. This is the box that it comes in. These have, well, you can see it right here. Uh, wireless charging, obviously. Uh, so you got your audio transmission where you plug the case in to, some, to your car or something like that. And they, you can listen to it through the earbuds because it's linked through the case, which is really nice. Um, You've got CD quality, lossless sound, uh, active noise canceling, up to six and a half hours of playtime with the case. Another tw uh, it's twenty, and uh, the box is really nice this time. It's like it's embossed on here. It's pretty nice. But go to the link in the description of the website, and you can you can grab yours. Uh, but let's go ahead and that off. They did a different packaging this time. It's kind of it's nice. It's like raised there's a boss on there so uh, here's the packaging they also made it i'm gonna say less quality but you know companies are trying to trying to save money on the products so they're spending less on packaging which you know i understand that because you know what are you gonna do with this box afterwards <laughs> you know what i'm saying so here's your um instructions here you need to uh download the app and i'll show you the app here in just a second let me get my phone one of my phones you need to download the um the app um, you need to get this app right here, this app, and I'll, I'll link them with that in just a second. And then here's the case here, under here, you can see you got some earbuds. Uh, you got your, one of these is the transfer cable uh, for the, the case, and the other one's for charging. So you got, here it is right here. This is the one you'll use Let's just say you're on an airplane or you're somewhere that has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and you don't have headphones like that. You plug this into the case. You plug this into whatever that 3.5 is. And then it'll transfer the sound through the case to your headphones. Now that's beast mode right there. And then here's your charging type C to type C. And then here's your, um, your uh, extra buzz and tips. So you got large, extra small, or small, extra small, and then mediums are, are the ones that's gonna be on the actual um, buds by default. So let's put this all aside. Now here is the case. Now I always give a, a case a review because you know, you want to make sure if you drop these, it's not going to fall out or the magnet on it is strong enough. So I always do this right here and also check the lid. Like, see, this lid is going to stay open because it's got a strong, it's a magnetic hinge, it's a hinge and it's got magnetic on there. So um, it's not going to come out. Yeah, it's good. So on the bottom here, 
Uh, now this one, this case doesn't have a uh, charging button in or anything like that. So you'll have to put them back into the case, open it up like this, and then it'll go ahead and it'll go into pairing mode as you can see right there. So that's how you that's how you get in most most earbuds I've found now. That's how they do it. You know, instead of having adding a button on there, you just put them back in the case and open the case up and it'll start charging. So you have your your charging cable down here. Yeah, I wonder if this is a reset button or I wonder if that's one of the uh, if that's how you sync it. Let me see here. Yeah, that's a, that's actually a, a reset button right there. So that's probably uh, that's the reset but I don't think that has anything to do with putting in the pairing mode but I did tap it and it went straight into pairing mode so I have to double check that but ironically enough these expensive earbuds don't come with the thing the this part covered so it'll it won't charge in transit so what you do is you get your app start looking and it already found them like this is literally what it's gonna do for you it says tap one of your earbuds once. There you go. And it's it's good to go. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. And it's it's paired. So you go to accessory here, select an accessory. Now nothing's coming up at the second here, but it's still searching right there. Let's cancel that. And then that's it, done. Okay. It was looking for a different accessory. So boom. So now I have all of this right here. I don't know if y'all saw that, if it was blocked. Okay, no, it should've been good. You got this ready to go. And you can see, so you get all the brand features and everything, latest updates, browsing wickets content. Okay, whatever, that's fine. I'll do the notifications. Uh, so you says, it says get the most out of your new hairbrush. This is just gonna be to, um, to get it synced for things and uh, have it synced to your ears or whatever. You can start listening to music. You can see some music right here. And then the app up here, you got your pass through, or you can turn it off, or you can have noise canceling. So up here, you can see, let's go to settings so you can see it all. So here you go. The case is at 71%, the earbuds are at 97%, and your uh, uh, active noise canceling is on. The pass through is when you like want to leave them in your ears. And you want to talk to you know you can hear you start talking and it'll start going through so i always i'm gonna get my my equalizer up right like i like it it's like that and your true sound you can turn that on or you can use your own equalizer so if you obviously if you set your equalizer it's going to go for what it thinks is the best sound for you and your paired devices you can pair a new device if you want to uh, let me see here. You got your wear sensor, touch controls, active noise canceling assistance. So here you go right there. Left, the left bud toggles between active noise canceling and pass through, and the right bud does your voice assistant. Uh, you can uh, tap, uh, customize it by tapping hold. That's how you do it. So you can switch around. You can have voice control on that one or whatever. So it's pretty simple. Um, I suggest you definitely read the application. Uh, so I'm going to... Um, see if there's a software update uh, nothing popped up yet so uh but this looks to be very simple uh some versions down there nothing nope 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 oh update software it's up to date all right so when you go home here i'm gonna go ahead and listen to some some music for a little bit just to kind of see and and uh put them in and man they they feel good they definitely feel good when it comes to um the feel of these they're built different than the sevens like if you look at the sevens look at how the sevens are built this is the seven is like a two-piece it's a lot bigger you see it's a lot bigger it's got that part on top they pretty much made it one and they got a bigger up thing up here for the touch controls the bounds and working labels around the edges here but enough of that let me i'm gonna put them in and I'm gonna tell you how they sound because that's the most important part. How do they sound? So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy some music real quick and then I'll come back and tell you what they sound like. All right guys, so yeah. Here's the thing about these earbuds. They are obviously, okay, so look, these are 400 bucks. So for those that are gonna say, oh, you know, I'm not, those aren't worth 400 bucks, I would never pay that. 
there's these people called audiophiles and you know it's they're they don't just get online and review earbuds um i have tons of headphones tons of earbuds but i don't think i'm an audiophile but i do own a brand called marshall as a matter of fact i have a big marshall speaker that sits right here some of you guys might have seen that i use for my sound when editing and and just listen to, it's, it's linked to my mac that's my speaker so if you know about the brand marshall no, I'm not in a band. I'm using the consumer versions of the speakers because they are that good. So an audiophile probably would know who Marshall is. I have Marshall headphones. I have Marshall speakers in my garage. That's what I use when I'm in the garage, washing the car, cleaning or whatever. I use Marshall. So I say that to say this. Bowers and Wilkins is in the same lineup as Marshall's. Now, I don't consider myself a audiophile. But what I will say is, if you're looking at these earbuds, you want top quality sound. It's just that simple. If you don't, if you think they cost too much, all you gotta do is look in another direction. So again, these cost me 400 bucks, the PI7s. So of course I'm gonna be interested in some of these other versions. So when I saw these, I was like, yep, yeah, gotta get them, gotta get them, gotta get them. So the, just the it's, it's a different it's a different rundown when it comes to sound these are going to be out of a lot of people's price range 400 bucks because the thing is i've given you reviews on earbuds for 20 dollars that sound great so when i'm going somewhere and i don't care if i lose them or break them or something i step on them that's what i take these are coming with me like if i'm somewhere important if I'm gonna be on a plane or something like that, or I'm gonna be on a uh, in the car for a long time, that's where because that's where that's where these went. I took these when I went to events and stuff like that, and I was walking around or whatever. I had those in. I was like, I'm gonna get my four hundred dollars worth. Now I was a little disgusted that the price dropped like about a year later or something like that. I think it was, but still, they're worth it. I, I was like, I'm not gonna I'm gonna keep them. I'm not gonna sell them. I'm gonna hold on to them because what's done is done. So I knew what I was getting into. When I when I saw the PI eights and I was like I gotta jump on these. I was hoping the price will be a little different, at least give some kind of perks like three hundred or three twenty five. They said no, we're Bowers and Wilkins. We're gonna charge this. So with that said, dude, sound quality on these things, it, it's it's on another level. Like you don't you don't want to get these if you if you worried about price and not like quality you want to kind of stay away from these because these hit hard the way i got my eq set um it's perfect for me i have my equal set, eq set like that in my car in my home at my office everywhere same these things cancel out sound perfectly i'll have to follow up again to kind of talk about battery life um, and I gave on the on the PI sevens. I think I might have gave you four, five, six, seven videos on those because they're just that good. And I don't suspect that these are going to be bad. I mean, the, just looking at these, you wouldn't think they had that kind of power. You wouldn't think it, but I'm telling you, these things hit. So, I suggest if you're a person who wants quality sound and you're willing to pay for it and you're going to keep these like again see i had these for going on four years these came out almost over three like three and a half years over a little over three and a half years ago so i didn't get those with the like oh okay, i'm gonna test them out for a little bit and return them nah mm -mm. nah because i knew about bowers and wilkins but i hadn't had any of their headphones and so i started doing some research since i like marshall i said you know what i, I got marshall headphones those was like 200 or whatever. So I got a bunch of Marshall speakers that are very expensive, the quality. And sometimes it's not just about price. Remember, I've reviewed earbuds and showed you like sound peaks and all these different ones. It's, it's a proven fact that you don't have to spend $400 on earbuds. But again, if you're looking in this direction, you, you want the best sound you can get for your money. And earbuds son these hit hard i'm telling you i wouldn't stare you wrong a lot of people bought these uh pi sevens and some people were like ah you know i don't think they're worth the 400 bucks but i have a, a, so many earbuds that i can compare them to that it's just like for real y'all like they don't it's not that they're worth 400 per se 
this is what they feel they're worth because of the quality sound that you get so I haven't showed you my video on these yet but stay tuned because I'm gonna show you these too and they don't cost $400 remember but I have so many buds laying around like I, I think I think these are good too I think these are hidden right there I think I, I think these are good I mean I have a lot of buds just kind of floating around that I, and I use if it's on my desk I use it if I'm not using it I put it in my little case over here and I, and I come back to them but I gotta tell you if you were considering getting some earbuds and you and you willing to if you want to become an audiophile, if you will, <laughs> and you want to step into this arena, bring your wallet. Um, there's no other way to say it. Bring your wallet. Because I hate to use that terminology like people use. You know what I'm going to say. Pay to play. Well, literally, you're going to have to pay to, to, to play these in your ear. But when you get them, you know I'm saying, and since I had experience with the i7s, I knew that I was going to get quality sound. And if I compare them to the i7s, they definitely improved. I mean, the, 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 it's strange how, you know, how little it is. I think these have a 12 millimeter driver in them now. Let me tell you, let me see here. I'm pretty sure these have a 12 millimeter driver now. Um, let me see here. I'm, I'm certain that these have a 12 millimeter driver because they have the carbon cones in them now. So uh basically the interior of it is solid that's nice and strong so you get that thump um and these hit with the bass son they are nice yeah they have carbon cones in there and i'm pretty sure they have the 12 millimeter driver i have to go deeper into the specs but i'm pretty certain that they have 12 okay here we go yep yep two 12 millimeter drivers with carbon cones straight up aptx lossless bluetooth 32 bit DSP. So you're getting a nice upgrade from the i7s, man. You're getting a nice upgrade. And yeah, like I said, they do cost 400 bucks, but they're brand new right now. Everything goes on sale. Everything goes on sale. So if you don't want to get these right now, the difference between these and the PI7s is you have a two 9.2 millimeter drivers and 24 bit uh, uh, DSP. So you're getting that's why that's why i'm able to actually hear the sound coming from these the difference that's why and if you want to save even more money you can drop all the way down to the pi5s they're now only 120 bucks they used to be 300 dollars for the pi5s they're 129 dollars right now so there's something there's a price range to get into just because the price dropped on some of these products you're still getting the quality sound the price is out because these are out like the price is going down because this is their latest earbuds, the PI8s. So if you want to ball out and get a quality set of earbuds, I definitely recommend recommend these if you're ready to get into audiophile status. status. If you're ready to become an audiophile, I definitely can recommend the PI7s. But if you want, you know what I'm saying, like the top of the line drivers and everything that they're offering, you're going to have to get these. I'll leave a link to these down below. Remember, I, I, I talked about the price a lot because that is where some people are going to look first. They're going to say, what? They're going to they're gonna look them up and they're going to be like $400 and they're going to be like, nah. But like I said, I own Marshall products. So, you know, I'm all in. Again, I'm not even calling myself an audiophile, but I have some high quality headphones over here. I got the Sony's. I got the latest Sony's. I have quality headphones and earbuds that are pricey but with that price comes better sound than the $20 earbuds than the $95 earbuds but there's a range out there for people out there who don't want to spend this kind of money on one set of earbuds simply put but if you want to play these PI8s is the way like straight up I wasn't even pretending to drop that bar but these PI8s Coming from somebody who has the sevens, I'm telling you, you 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 gonna love these. If and if you have the sevens, I encourage you to go ahead and upgrade straight up. I encourage you to to stop what you're doing, go ahead, get your upgrade on. I don't think I'm gonna charge them up. That's why I'm putting them back in case. I don't think you'll be disappointed 
going from the sevens to these. You can hear those carbon um, cones in there. The, the thump is crazy. I listen to some different genres of music too. I, I listen to the music already, but what I do is I play different songs and man, oh man, man, these are it. They now move to the top, man. Not because of the price, because that's just what it is. Like for your high-end earbuds, these are the top ones I have. I like these better than my Sony's. And you know, I'm a huge Sony fan. Huge Sony fan. These, comfortable. The mediums worked for me. I didn't have to change the tips. Because if you want to lock out the sound and get the active noise canceling going, make sure you put a bigger tip on there to really seal it off. But these mediums, they, 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 they good. I didn't have to do any changes. So I'm going to charge these up. And I'm gonna start using them as my regular earbuds. And like I said, I'm gonna bring you my review on the the Buzz 3, because I had the Buzz 3 before I had these. I just haven't had time to edit that video and get it out to you, but um, man, I'm telling you, you're gonna love these. It's your man Jay, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Remember to hit that link down below so you can grab yours.